mirror image to be able to cause a little bit of confusion. He doesn't really have any other way of saving his Blade Master outside of a, a heal from the Shadow Hunter. So possibly maybe swapping out that Scroll of Town Portal for a invulnerability potion or a health potion or something, or using that Scroll of Town Portal to save him at a dire time will help. Basically, what I'm coming down to here is that Blade or Demon or sorry, Blade Master is going to go down very quickly, um, and that's going to end up costing him a, a big uh, loss up here soon. We'll see what's happening again. This is that fight I was talking about. They're just getting prepared. Nublix at Dawson's main base is going to be happening very very soon. Uh, Nublix, uh, lots of lots of uh, bats. Uh, in a separate control group here by Dawson and he's just trying to position himself he's got him separated doesn't have a lot of wyverns up so again his DPS is really kind of reliant now on this blade master so here's the fight that's happening at his main base right now so I've been talking about a lot to lead up to it and as soon as he TPs in immediately he gets those bats ready to go uh, pops a scroll of uh, protection again that'll help uh, take more hits we're talking about 8 plus 2 armor now for those uh, chimeras that's really going to allow uh, those bats to be negated. All those bats are gone now and you still got a huge army of Chimeras so that was a really really good play there and again the Blade Master just came down as we said was going to happen. A round of Entangle and Focus Fire on those Chimeras. Uh, Shadow Hunter uh, is smart enough to use his Town Portal to get out and instead of going to his... Oh he does TP back to his main base I believe does he? No. He TPs to his expansion um, on the far right of the map there. On the top right of the map. So that was really bad for Dawson. He's ended up going to losing a lot of stuff there. But take a look at this. Uh, instead of attacking those beast areas that are producing more and more bats, uh, Nublex is targeting burrows, which is usually a good idea. But when bats are coming out at you, he's going to lose a lot of these air units that he has. Look at that: one, two, three, four, five, six chimeras and uh, some hippogriffs. And you can see how quickly they're going to go down to a, just now a round of bat explosions. There, it's down to three. He just lost three of them in one round of bat explosions. And another set's going to come out. I think he's going to lose at least maybe probably one more of those Chimeras. But still, should have been taking out those B series first and then focused on those uh, things. Because now it's kind of evened out. Even though he's able to take out a lot of uh, new, uh, Dosslin's base here, Nublex is really hurt on his army size. Take a look at the food counts. We're looking at 79 for Nublex versus 54 for the uh, Orc. And he's going to lose a little bit more through his uh, bad explosions. Good job taking those out with the... Uh, Keeper of the Grove and Priestess of the Moon, focusing those bats before they were able to attack. Really cool uh, move here. The, you notice the Blade Master is coming in, level 7 Blade Master, that really stack Blade Master coming in from the back, and it's going to come in and get a really high crit off on this Panda and Brewmaster. 330 hit points on this Panda, one attack, two of cats with, with 372 crit, and that <laughs> Panda goes down. It's just something about seeing crits that are almost 400 damage from an attack on a Blade Master, that's just insane. And if you don't want to play free for alls or, or at least try them or have fun with them, after watching that, I mean, I don't know what else is going to do it for you. That is just insane. And Nublik says it right there, LOL crit. And that was one of the highest crits I think I've ever seen watching Warcraft, uh, regular just Warcraft matches. So pretty pretty interesting there. So although Nublix wasn't able to finish off uh, just Dosselin's base, he did do a lot of damage there, was able to kill off the fortress. And... Uh, he still has a lot of money though, so I mean, Dawson can come back from this very, very easily. He's going to be able to refortify his army with more and more wyverns. Still has a few unit production buildings, able to pump whatever he needs. Uh, unfortunately, I believe no, no, no. He does that. He's got some peons, so he can rebuild whatever he wants. Um, all right, we're at almost the 35-minute mark. Uh, we are just now. So if you guys want to uh, take some time and get synced up to the 53-minute mark, I'm going to do the same. So. Let me speed up real quick. We we'll get to the 53 minute mark and then you want to pause. Pretty much what's going to be happening from here to there is a little bit of hit and runs, but not a lot of big fights. There aren't going to be any big fights. They're basically going to be trying to take out each other's expansions and really this lasts for about 20 to 30 minutes. There are no big considerable fights that happen. Also during this time you're going to see Orange build up at the um, 3 o'clock position of the map. Uh, Dawson let that completely go, and he's going to be able to re or sorry, it's not the 3 o'clock, he's actually going to build up a little bit south of that. The, um, what is that, 3, 4, 5, 4 or 5 o'clock position. Builds up a lot of gold there, and take a look at his uh, gold count, he's still about the same as Nublex, so he's going to be able to build up pretty good there, and have two gold mines pumping, so that'll work really, really well for him. And again, just little fights happening, nothing worth even talking about, and that's why I'm speeding through it, because nothing is game-changing at this point. It's just a lot of little hits. Um, there's a, a few uh, considerable fights I'm watching right now at Dawson's base as I'm speeding through it at his expansion, where Nublix came in and lost a lot of his units, again, to mass bat explosion. Um, that's really hard to do. Uh, you need to have those scrolls protection in and be able to come in through it. But if you guys feel free to want to watch the replay again and slow it down at certain points, 
Uh, you know, go for it. I just don't want to sit through the whole replay at 1x speed. <laughs> you know, an hour and a half replay, that would take a good amount of time. It would take an hour and a half <laughs> at 1x speed. And I was trying to dumb down this audio commentary uh, to save some time, I guess. So still speeding up there. Once I get there, I'll give you guys another minute to get there because I'm not really focused on it at the moment. But again, 53 minutes, that's what we're looking for. Uh, pause it when you get there, and then uh, we'll do another unsync or desync or whatever you call it countdown to be able to sync up. Watch the rest of it. Oh, there's a uh, the tournament's actually happening this weekend. So uh, there's a WCR member tournament that's going on. Chicas is running it and should be pretty good, I guess. Um, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. If you're if you like it, you know, make posts and comments and tell people, tell the staff you want to see more tournaments. If it ran if it ran well, if, if it didn't, make sure to post your comments and say what we could do better in the future. But we all try to do what we can for the members. And this was a hundred dollar tournament. And the last one we had, I think Shy won. So I was kind of disappointed in that. I didn't think that pro should be allowed to to play in a member tournament. But I was overruled on my comments there. So. Shy wasn't even a member. He made an account like two days before the tournament and didn't even know who Seven Smurfs was. That's one of the classic lines of that tournament was, what's a Seven Smurfs by, <laughs> by Shy? Uh, that still cracks me up to this, to this day. Uh, almost there, 53 minutes. <clears throat> Got a lot of audio, new audio commentaries, or commentators, so I hope you guys are liking the... Uh, Fresh blood we got here. Lado's doing really, really great. I listened to his audio commentary. He's a good, good amount. Uh, Priest is doing pretty good. He's been. He took a little break because uh, he was out of town, but he's back now and producing some commentaries. And we just hired Dredrick, uh, who's a undead player. So you guys should like that. It was kind of a uh, something to replace Madshaw with, since Madshaw wasn't producing content. We had to let him go. So hope you guys enjoying the new blood and hopefully they're doing their jobs I don't listen to all the commentaries that they produce but I listen to some of them so I know they're good talented players for sure and talented commentators almost there at 53 minutes Jesus it's taking a long time longer time to sync up alright I'm almost there so you guys should be almost there too alright I'm at 53 when you get to 53 minutes drop it to 1x speed again and we'll just watch the, the last part of the replay together it's only about another uh, 10, 20 minutes before it pretty much ends. Uh, we'll we'll end it maybe a little bit early and just speed through it, but uh, we'll see some bigger fights happening. And before I unpause, let me kind of get set up and see where I want to look at first. Uh, first big fight looks like it happens at at Dawson's base, I'm guessing. We'll have to take a look at when that is. So Dawson's uh, rebuilt his base now on the other side of the map. Let's kind of get a refresh on what's been happening since we fast-forwarded. Uh, we did see Dawson lose all his base at the top left of the map, but he's since transplanted and moved his base to the uh, where actually where the old where the other Night Elf player used to be, one of his natural expansions. And he's got a fortress there, set up four bestiaries, more than enough gold to keep producing units. He's down to t ten thousand gold, whereas he was at uh, remember t over twenty thousand gold before. Uh, taking a look at Nublix, these are the two people we want to focus on. Ninety-eight out of hundred food army. He's got his expansions um, not set up. He's ran a gold mine out. And he's trying to set up another expansion in the middle of the map, which is actually going to be a very highly contested gold mine. Even though it only has about 5,000 gold in it, 5,500 gold, um, that's going to be something that people want because that's one of the last remaining gold mines of the map, and they need to get that gold to be able to uh, continue producing units and fight in the map. So Nublex and uh, Dawson undoubtedly going to be fighting over that a few times. And, uh, like I said, Dark Elf Mina, the orange player, with one, eight, one tree of life that got out early, is now able to completely re-fortify his army. Just like I told you, at that uh, roughly about the 4 or 5 o'clock position there on the map, uh, he's got a level 3 uh, Dark Ranger, a level 5 Demon Hunter, a level 3 Pandaren Brewmaster. Uh, he's building uh, lots of hippogriffs. And he's got his Chimera Roof. It's pretty much the cookie-cutter night elf thing to do, is to build lots of big air. Same thing with uh, Orc. Uh, get a lot of uh, heavy air units with your wyverns and your bats. Have a gross and chimera, same same thing. That's what you end up seeing, a lot of high-end tier units in these free-for-all matches. So uh, if you guys aren't at the 53-minute mark, uh, I'll let you guys pause the audio commentary again and get synced up because I'm going to unpause it in five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one, unpause. One X speed, five, uh, 53 minutes. That's where we're at now. Um, like I said, the first big fight's going to happen, I believe, at Dawson's base. Uh, maybe it's at Nublix, because I see Dawson ready to attack. 
So taking a look over at the 